Hello friends, welcome to Moonspell Tarot. So today we are going to do a pick a card reading, finding out when you are going to get pregnant, um, you know, finding out a potential timeline, um, any blockages that you may need to, you know, work out in your own personal life, okay? So I have three different piles in front of me here today. We have a lot of cards, so definitely a lot to go through, and there will be timestamps down below whenever you are ready to go ahead and jump to your personal reading. So for pile number one, we have a Garden Quartz. Pile number two, we have an Angel Aura Quartz. And pile number three, we have a Labradorite Moon. So if you are, you know, having any trouble choosing, you, you know, aren't quite sure, like, which, you know, crystal or pile is really speaking to you, I would recommend pausing the video for a moment, taking a few deep breaths in and out, and really thinking about, um, you know, the family that you're wanting, the child that you're wanting, um, what you are wanting to bring into your life, um, maybe potentially what you already know is stopping you, any blockages in your way that you are aware of, okay? And so just take a few deep breaths and think about that, and that will guide you to which crystal um, is best suiting you. And um, I will see you all down at your personal reading. Thank you. Welcome back, pile number one. So that's if you chose this beautiful garden quartz. So let's see what is, um, when is your baby coming? What can we expect for you? Okay, so right off the bat, you know, I'm seeing that you are feeling, um, you know, like this just isn't happening for you. You are feeling worried. Uh, maybe you're feeling like you are running out of time. You are, um, you know, maybe you feel like you're at an age where you can't have children anymore, or maybe uh, your partner is becoming frustrated at the situation. So you're feeling in a way as if you're like running out of time. You feel very frustrated um, by it. But you are like at all time um, like defense mode. Like I feel like you're trying very often. You're doing, you know, a lot of things that you hear about, of course, like old wives tales and even the things, um, you know, maybe like a doctor's telling you to do things you maybe need to work on. Oftentimes, you know, it just is letting go of maybe some bad habits, eating very unhealthy, uh, things like that. So I definitely see that you are making uh, good choices, but it's making you very high strong because as each and every month goes by and you see that you're not pregnant, um, you're becoming increasingly more like agitated and aggravated that this isn't happening for you. And so you are just feeling just very hurt and down and you feel like your life is very disorganized because I'm seeing, uh, you know, you and your partner, I, I really do feel like this is what you want and this is what you are going for right now. Um, but things are just not lining up the way you wanted them to. So, you know, it's very frustrating for you that things are not going like according to, you know, plan for you. And one thing that is important for you is to attract and not chase. Okay. So oftentimes, we are chasing something so much and it's not the right time for us. You know, if we are wanting a baby or a new job or to get married, um, oftentimes we put out a lot of like desperate energy and that's just like not helping us attract what we need um, because it's like negative energy, right? So it's, you're putting out a lot of like very desperate energy and you're not attracting what you want. So you know, at this point, I feel like it's, it's hard, of course, um, you know, and I feel that you are really hurting, but I feel like it would be better for you to take a step back and think about yourself for a moment because you are going to be, you know, like housing a baby for almost a year uh, for a very long time and your body and your mind and your whole spirit has to be in a good place to take care of a baby, to be able to make sure that they're getting what they need and they're not stressed. And because you are putting out so much stressful energy and you're always stressed about this and it's something that you're, you know, again, putting out a lot of that um, negative energy uh, because you're chasing this, it's, you know, it's making your body like not ready for that. So taking a step back, I'm not saying you necessarily have to wait like a really long time or anything, but taking a step back and having like some self care for you, you know, um, doing like a beauty routine that makes you feel good, taking a day off from work, if that's something that you could do and just relaxing and 
um, spending time being good to yourself. That's so important. And I feel like that's something you're definitely skipping over, you know, on top of like your regular everyday life and, um, you know, the things that we always have to do. I feel like you're also worried about having a baby and it's just becoming like too much. It's becoming overly um, <clears throat> stressful. Pardon me one moment. Okay, sorry. I'm a little bit sick, guys, so I had to take a drink of tea. Okay, and so I see that you and this baby, though, are going to be kindred spirits. You know, when you're able to let go of this stress and this baby comes into your life, I feel like you are going to be kindred spirits. You are going to feel like this baby was perfect for you, that you all have very similar personalities, that you are... Um, seeing a lot of yourself in your child and I feel like that's something that you're already thinking about that you're excited for you know it's really exciting to see you know like a little you or a little of like your partner even um, seeing that they have physical traits of you or even personality traits as they grow older so you know I feel like that's something that you think about and it's something that you really want so um, you know I definitely see that's going to happen for you but it is, you know, it takes time. And again, you have to, like, be good to yourself. And, um, you know, I feel like that in a lot of ways you are regretting maybe waiting to have a child. You know, if you are um, not old, but a little bit older and you think, like, I wish I would have done this when I was younger. Um, you know, I wish I wouldn't have, like, worked on my career or maybe... Uh, you and your partner just waited or, you know, you found like the love of your life later on and you wanted to wait to have children until you found the right person. Um, so I feel like you are aggravated with yourself that you waited. And so that's why you're in the pos this position now. Uh, but again, that's just adding more stress. That's adding more negativity and negative energy to your life. So definitely like don't think about that because I do feel like you definitely have a baby coming for you. And especially with this kindred spirits card, I definitely see that it's going to happen for you. Um, but you just can't think about what happened in the past. You can't harp on what you should have done or what you should not have done. Right. And, uh, set your course. So again, setting your course in this idea of making sure that you are number one, being good to yourself taking time for yourself and not on top of all of your daily activities. And if you're always doing things for other people on top of that, trying to conceive because you're just putting so much stress on yourself. So setting a course and a, a loose plan for yourself, I, I really feel like is the best thing. So, you know, you can work on it and be intimate with your partner, of course, if that's what you want. Um, but don't, be so like regimented about it and say like, you know, it has to be this time. And if we don't do it this time, then I'm not going to become pregnant. And then you become aggravated when it didn't happen. So, um, I feel like in a way you just have to be a little bit more like water. You have to go with the flow. And, um, you know, if you are feeling it, be intimate with your partner. And then, you know, you're putting out good vibes because you are showing love and exchanging positive energy that way. So I do feel like that that is what is going to help you a lot is being a lot more calm and again, attracting by being more positive and letting life just happen and let things happen. Um, you're going to be attracting love and attracting good energy and um, attracting and manifesting a baby instead of chasing after it. Okay. And then, okay. So you know, I do feel that being a mother or a father, even if you are a soon to be dad watching this, um, you know, I do feel that you are like very close to attracting what you want. It just takes time. You know, you have to allow this to happen and you have to, again, be in your positive energy. Um, wearing um, rose quartz can be very positive for you. That's helping you attract self love. Um, wearing like lotus blossom jewelry could also be very positive like in the artwork of the car like little lotus blossoms um, to help recognize like feminine energy and um, really positive feminine vibes another thing to do would be um, you can also buy like a goddess statue 
um, to help bring like more feminine energy into your home. Maybe keep that like on the side of your bed or something like that. Um, but you know, I feel like ultimately like you just have to be good to yourself because I feel like you are neglecting yourself and that is like your body's natural way of saying like, okay, you're not ready to have a baby because you're being too stressed. Okay. And so again, I do see that if you continue to go in this pattern of chasing and, you know, this stressed energy, it's not going to happen. So you have to calm down, not even just for the baby, but for yourself, just to calm down, stop being so stressed. That's so important for you. But I do see abundance in your future. I feel like if you can, you know, let go of some of this stress, it's going to definitely be, um, you know, a good thing for you and it's going to help you a lot. And a time to give rather than take. Okay, so I definitely feel like it's a good time to, um, you know, give to yourself and be good to yourself and not just take what's benefiting you right now, what you think is benefiting you. So intimacy um, for the purpose of only having a child. Um, it's time to give love and receive love and not just take what is um, for that purpose. You know, we have to still live our life. We still have to enjoy our life. So I feel like it's really important to give and give positive energy, um, not just to your partner, but to you as well. Um, but you know, again, I just see that you're very down and I, again, I can't stress enough that I'm feeling like if you continue on this path of stressed and not being good to yourself, not necessarily being great to your partner, cause I feel like you all may be fighting a lot. Um, you know, I feel like it's, you really have to change this in order for you to become pregnant. Um, learn to go with the flow. Learn to take on some of that like water sign energy. And um, lastly, we have box. Reveal your secret power. So again, I do feel like inside you do have that capability of letting go and you know being more free flowing and just let things happen as they're going to happen. Um, and again, that's just going to bring. Um, you know, a child closer to you. So that's so important. You know, don't, um, you know, let this drag you down because I do feel like you have a baby coming for you. You just have to let this secret power out of yours, uh, this calm energy, this very water type, you know, let things happen as they happen energy. And I do see a baby coming your way. And again, they are going to be kindred spirits. And, um, you know, I do feel like it's just going to be a great abundance and a great happiness, a great happy time for your family. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And I hope you all have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Welcome back, pile number two. So that's if you chose this angel aura quartz. So let's go ahead and see, um, you know, when you're going to become pregnant, when is this going to happen for you? Uh, what can we expect? Okay. So right off the bat, I am seeing a lot of tension in your personal life. Um, a lot of tension between you and your partner, potentially, um, you know, a lot of conflict and it, a lot of the conflict could be because you're not becoming pregnant and it's frustrating for you. Um, I do see that you are feeling very like down about yourself and very hurt right now about this situation because you, you know, you do want to start this family and things are just like not working out. Uh, you know, the way you, they thought, uh, the way you thought they would be, sorry, it was hard to get out. Um, so you're feeling very down, you and your partner, I feel like are having a lot of conflict and that's causing conflict in the rest of your life because you are, you know, then getting up and going to work and you may be in a bad mood and, um, being fussy with other people or really small things are bothering you. So I definitely see a lot of conflict in your everyday life. So one thing I would say is to choose your battles in regards to this. Because one thing that, you know, if you were to see a doctor um, at the time of you trying to get pregnant, if you're having a hard time, one thing they're gonna tell you is lower your stress levels. That's like a big one. Um, because of course our everyday life is stressful. And um, pardon me, I feel like, you know, one thing you could do is like pick your battles. So if, right now, you know, you're under like a tremendous amount of stress. You're trying to have a baby, you know, maybe you've tried for quite a while and it's just not happening and you just feel very aggravated. Um, you know, I do feel like it's important to pick your battles. So like if you come home and maybe you see your partner or if you have other children or a roommate or whatever, 
maybe didn't do the dishes or something like that or didn't vacuum when you asked him to or someone at work uh, made a mistake and it's something that you may have to fix. Um, it's always good to choose your battles and not blow up about everything. I feel like lately you've been very frustrated on a lot of ends and it's not helping you because you are so stressed out and it's just like stopping you from doing that. That's like your body's natural way of like bringing you back a couple notches and telling you to like calm down, relax because you are like making your body not hospitable to carry a life. So, you know, that's really important to, you know, pick your battles. Obviously, if something's important, you can say something about it. But I feel like in a way you've been very much on edge, been very agitated, probably in like a very um, bad mood, which is interesting because you did cho uh, choose the Angel Aura Quartz. And, you know, purple is like the highest vibrational color. So that is supposed to, you know, make you happy and it makes you feel good. And Angel Aura Quartz is all about you know, like that water flowy, you know, being positive, being happy. So I feel like that's what you want, but you just are very much on edge right now. And uh, next we have power of prayer. So again, just, um, you know, if you believe in God or the universe or, uh, you know, this great spirit, whatever you personally believe in, a lot of times something that can be just beneficial is to pray or journal um, about the way you're feeling. You know, you don't necessarily even have to pray. A lot of times just like getting your thoughts out really helps and it helps you get rid of um, those negative feelings and it just helps you get it out of your mind and you've said it and you're done. And so some of these things that you may be frustrated with with other people, you know, it makes it easier for you because then you know that at the end of the day you're going to pray about it or in the evening, if you can sit down and journal for like 10 minutes, you can get all that out there and not be um, that way to other people. And then again, it's benefiting you because you're able to get that stress off your chest in a positive way. And I see that you need love in your life. You know, you need love and balance. And, you know, I feel like with right now with what's going on, you and a partner may be at odds. Maybe you and your family are not getting along. If you are, you know, very much on edge, maybe you are um, not being the kindest to other people and maybe they're not being kind back to you, you know, not to put it all on you. They may be, you know, not be being fair to you as well. So that's something to think about. But, you know, I feel like you do need love and balance and kindness in your life right now. And so I would definitely work on that. And by, you know, like I said, praying and journaling and just writing down your thoughts, that is going to help bring you some happiness and bring you joy. And so as this time goes by and you are like slowly doing these things and, um, you know, writing like things in a gratitude journal or whatever you would like to do, um, that is going to help bring more love into your life. And then you and these people that you are like at odds with right now are going to be in a better spot. So, you know, that's just going to help you out. And, you know, plus once you have a baby, it's going to help to have a lot of friends and a lot of people on your side because it's a challenge, right? Uncertainty. So I see that you're very uncertain of yourself. You are worried about being a parent. You are worried about being able to even like conceive a child. I feel like it's something that is very much on your mind. Um, lately, I feel like you're definitely struggling with that. So, you know, again, just being good to yourself, um, letting go of some of these negative feelings, writing down exactly how you feel and, um, you know, being good to yourself, having self-care days. If, you know, in the evening you enjoy taking a really nice hot bath or shower and, you know, having a small snack, do it. If there's a certain TV show or a book you really like to read, just be good to yourself. You know, make sure you're taking time for the things you enjoy and not just having a baby and working, having a baby and working because you're not going to, um, you're not going to be feeling good, right? You need to be good to yourself. And then nothing is yet set in stone. So I do feel like for you, you have to work on your stress levels. Um, you know, it's going to take some time, but I feel like that is blocking you from becoming pregnant. So I don't see like an exact timeline for you, uh, but I do feel like it is going to happen. It's just, you have to work on this. I feel like right now, what is of most importance is you working on your stress because not only is that going to stop you from becoming pregnant, that can also cause you to like have, you know, some major health problems being under that much stress. So I feel like 
that right now is the most important thing for you. Um, and then, you know, having a family and having a baby will come after. And a fiery climax approaches. So I feel like I'm definitely seeing that there is still another big fight, another big argument that may happen for you. Uh, maybe between you and your partner or a friend or somebody. Um, and so I feel like that's when you're going to see like, okay, I need to chill. Um, I feel like that it's going to be like a full blown out argument, um, a very big disagreement. And it's just going to be, you know, a lot of hopefully not, you know, um, physical, you know, of course, like don't put yourself in any danger and don't put anyone else in danger. If you are in any like physical danger, please get help. But, you know, I feel like it's going to be some, you know, maybe like shouting words with another person. So I do see like a big um, climax is approaching and that from there it can only go down and your stress can only go down from there. And after that, I see fruitfulness. You know, I see that you are going to feel better. You're going to be happier. Um, you are going to be able to let go of some of the stress and you're going to be able to work on like what we talked about being more practical and uh, choosing your battles. Okay, and so I feel like in a way that you are feeling like justice is not on your side, that you feel like you've been like this good person, you deserve to have a family, you know, maybe other people around you are having kids and it's something that you desperately want. So you just feel like justice is not on your side and it's not fair. So um, you know, I feel like that ultimately you have to build yourself back up because I f I'm seeing that you're feeling very low due to your stress levels. You're feeling very down about yourself and you have to work yourself back up. You know, you have to be good to yourself and be kind to yourself. And with Ace of Swords, you know, I'm definitely seeing that as you are able to build yourself back up and be kind to yourself and work on these things that are causing you stress you are going to be building this like protective layer around you where all of that positive energy is just like staying around you in like a protective bubble. So you can have a baby and you can have a healthy pregnancy and you are going to be able to like let go of negativity and not be so stressed out. It just takes some time to build yourself up to there. And you know, like I said, I do see that you are feeling very down. I feel like that it's something that you're not showing because you are being um, kind of like tough, you know, arguing with people and um, not really choosing your battles. I feel like you may be crabbing about a lot of things. Um, and so I feel like some other people may not see how low you're feeling, but I really am sensing that you're feeling very down, very low uh, right now. And then departed loved ones, you are loved more than you'll ever know. So somebody who is your guardian angel, maybe a grandmother, a grandfather, aunt or uncle, parents, even maybe for some of you, a friend, um, they want you to know that they care about you. You know, they want you to know that you deserve to have a family. You deserve to have this life you want. Um, but, you know, they they just want you to know that they care about you and that they're here for you. And even like with talking about prayer, you know, previously, even if you don't necessarily want to pray to God or the universe or anything like that, you can always talk to this person. You know, they're there for you. They want you to know that they're there and they care about you. So whoever this person is, your guardian angel, your spirit guide, they want you to know that they're there for you and that they are always, um, you know, there if you want to talk. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye. Back pile number three. So that's if you chose this Labradorite moon. Okay, so let's go ahead and see um, when you will become pregnant. What is, you know, potentially holding you back? What do you need to hear? Okay, so I'm seeing that for you, the chances of you becoming pregnant are very high. Um, you know, I see the glass half full for you, if you will. Um, you know, I see it in a very positive light. I feel like in a way that there is something holding you back or maybe even a partner back. Um, you know, I feel like it's something that, you know, maybe it's like work. Maybe you are just getting a promotion or maybe your partner's just getting a promotion or you all are planning on moving in the next you know, six months to a year or whatever that situation may be. I feel like there is something that is like holding you back from like fully 
wanting that to happen for you. You know, it's, it's something. And, you know, maybe it's, you know, you're angry with your partner for a reason, or maybe they're angry with you. And it's something that you may not be aware about. But, you know, I do feel like there's something that's like holding you back. And so I feel like in your life right now, you need some peace, you need some joy and happiness. Um, and your life may be very chaotic, you know, if you are working a lot. And if you work at a really high stress job, of course, that can always be really hard. Um, you know, I, I really feel like right now your life is very chaotic and that's probably what's holding you back, right? You know, you feel like you're not ready. Um, even though that's what you want, you just feel like maybe it's not 100% the best time. And so it's interesting that you chose, you know, the Labradorite because Labradorite is like, you know, known as like a psychic stone. It's known as a stone for a time in your life where you're like deeply reflective and thinking about things. So you know, right now you are really thinking about exactly what you want. You want to have a baby, but you may be like fully aware that it's not like the best time for you. And we have bountiful nature and, you know, in a way, spending time in nature brings us really good and positive vibes. So if you're working all day and you just are like stuck in an office, you can't go outside very much spend time outside, you know, even if it's, you know, when you get home from work or maybe in the morning, if you could swing that before work, going for just like even a 20 minute walk, especially if you have like a dog that you could take on a walk, that would really help a lot. And that would make you feel a lot more calm and better getting some fresh air. And so spending time in nature is really going to benefit you a lot. And that's going to bring you some stress relief. So I would definitely do that. And, um, you know, continue to work on, you know, sitting outside, um, meditating underneath a tree, maybe just walking outside, even in your backyard for like two or three minutes can make a huge difference in how you feel. We all need that sunlight and vitamin D. So that's really important. And I feel like you're missing some of that because you are having this very chaotic life that you're not taking any time for yourself. And, you know, speaking of that, uh, trying to please everyone, I feel like right now you may be doing a lot for other people. Maybe you are a caretaker for somebody or somebody just like very heavily relies on you where you just don't have a lot of time to spend on yourself. So, you know, I'm definitely starting to put those puzzle pieces together for many of you as to what is holding you back. I feel like that too many people count on you, maybe your job or family, and you are just worried that you're not going to have that peace that you are not, um, you know, that your, your life right now wasn't a good time, but you desperately want to be a parent. So, you know, this is very, a challenging time for you. And law is not justice, rules that are not fair. So you feel like in a way that it's not fair, that you don't have an easier time, you are feeling frustrated, and you feel like you don't know how to let other people down. You don't know how to let your job down or other people in your life and let them know like, hey, I'm trying to start a family. I have to do some things for myself. So that's something that for you, you may need to, you know, work on, work on that separation of telling people like, hey, you know, I can't, you know, do that errand for you today or I can't pick up that extra shift uh, because I have to take some me time. And there's nothing wrong with that. Of course, the people that you always do things for are going to not be very happy with you. And it may be like uncomfortable at first, but it's so important for you to take time for yourself. It's a challenge to do so, but you need to, you need to take some time for yourself. You know, number one, be out in nature, getting some of that vitamin D, um, you know, being outside around greenery and flowers and, you know, animals and just other people. It's just going to help you a lot. So I definitely feel like you have to work on that separation and start telling people no as much as that's a challenge you have to do it and that's going to give you some protection because you're going to be able to say like you know I am being strong for myself not just for myself but for my family and my future family so that's going to give you a whole nother level of protection something that you don't have right now and so that's going to again bring positive energy to you and of course you don't necessarily have to be mean you know it seems like a mean thing to do to tell other people no but sometimes you have to sometimes you have to be there for yourself because no one else is going to be and you know i feel like right now you are in desperate need of some healing time you are just doing too much for other people so you are in desperate need of being good to yourself and you know connecting with 
something more innocent than yourself, connecting with your inner child, connecting with animals. Um, so definitely, you know, if you have, you know, a dog or cat or maybe another pet, if that's something that you could take on a walk, that would be really great. That would be healing for your soul. Maybe think about getting a pet first before you have a baby to give you some practice. That can also help, um, you know, connecting with that, um, you know, animals connecting with like your young spirit is important for giving, you know, people who hurt you when you're a child is so important. So um, embracing like inner child work is so important and learning to let go and not feel hurt because maybe the people that are hurting you now, the people that you're always doing things for you now are people that hurt you when you're a kid that I find that a lot, you know, um, people whose mother maybe wasn't good to them when they were a kid and now they're the mother's caretaker, you know, so obviously like you don't have to completely stop talking to this person or anything like that, but you have to learn when to say no. And a new start is coming. So I see that you are going to take the steps in being more positive, being good for yourself, looking out for yourself, and um, keeping in mind that you do have to protect yourself. You have to be kind to yourself. I feel like you are starting this new time in your life. And lastly, we have key. Seek no further. Your aha moment is at hand. So you may come across a time very soon where you realize like, okay, I just can't do this anymore. I'm frustrated, I'm hurt, I'm aggravated, and I need to take some time for myself. So I definitely see that that moment is so close for you and it's gonna be hard and it's gonna be infuriating and frustrating, but I feel like you have to go through that. You have to you know, acknowledge that you are not being good to yourself, that you're hurting yourself, you're allowing other people to hurt you. And so, by this happening, you are able to learn to say no and step away and take time for yourself. So then again, you are opening yourself up for positive energy. And then that is definitely when I see a baby coming for you. You just have to be good to yourself because I feel like when we overwork ourselves and overstress ourselves, that's our body's natural way of showing like your body isn't inhabited, uh, isn't able to inhabit a baby right now because you're under so much stress or under so much pain. So I definitely see that you have to, you know, take that time for yourself and, you know, be aware of this aha moment and, you know, make note of it so you can later on down the line not feel bad for these people who are, you know, in a way taking advantage of you. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.